Today we're looking at the pack that started them all, but barely got any screen time. The Proton Pack is not a toy. Welcome back to the Proton Pack Detective Series here on the Proton Pack is not a toy. This is the fifth video in the series, so if you haven't seen the videos for the Spingler, Stance, Vinkman, and Zedmore Hero Packs, the links are all in the description. Today's video focuses on the Superhero Pack. This pack only appears in Ghostbusters on the rooftop in sporadic scenes with Vinkman and Zedmore. It was used for an up-close shot of the thrower when Peter says heat him up. It was given the same overhaul as the other hero packs for Ghostbusters 2, but was not a part of the finished movie. Lewis wears it during a deleted scene where he's hunting Slimer in the firehouse, and he almost shoots Janine. This pack was on display in the Sony lobby along with the Stance Semi-Hero pack. It was taken apart and used to create the, quote, Spingler pack by Anovos, though Egon never wore it. Recently, Max Factory announced they will be offering shells made from a direct casting of the superhero. It also appears this shell was either used to make or an inspiration for the pack Phoebe is seen using in the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer due to the placement of some details. For the first movie, it appears this pack was used as the prototype to work out all the kinks in building the other four hero packs. The following details are different from the other hero packs. The HGA is longer. Here's the Vinkman hero to compare. The booster tube sets a tiny bit higher on the EDA, but the plug is set flush with the top of the tube, whereas the other packs have plugs that are higher than the tubes. Again, the Vinkman hero for comparison here. The bumper was mounted backwards, though the label was placed on the right side in the curled inward slot. The clippered elbow is a hex elbow mounted to the ion arm itself, not on the end cap, which makes it more like the semi-heroes and the Vinkman and Zedmore in their Ghostbusters 2 arrangement. The mounting bolt on the top left side is on the power cell, whereas on all other packs, including the Ghostbusters 2 semi-heroes, they're mounted to the EDA. However, this detail is seen in Phoebe's pack in Afterlife. The Alice frame was mounted directly to the shell with no spacers. There was no roll of foam on the top of the Alice frame, and it was also missing the bottom two HGA screws in this picture, possibly to help get the thrower off the V-hook. The longer HGA may have interfered. Get him up! On the thrower, this is the only one that had a moving bar graph light. The others came on, but were static. The orange hat light is in place of the milky white hat light of the other throwers. There are no bar graph or slow blow decals, and the envelope decal under the top switch is different. Here's the Spingler Hero for comparison. The knobs are painted black, but the rear cylinder is left unpainted, at least in its current arrangement. The banjos on the wand tip are Nicoil, rather than the Legris, compared to the Vinkman here. I should give credit to Dan Harshman, who has studied this pack extensively, and has been kind enough to post his findings in multiple places online. I wouldn't have caught most of those details without his research. This pack in its current state is missing the PPD label, has a scuff on the bottom left of the cyclotron, no V-hook on the pack, the fuse label is missing the red overlay, and it was given spacers in the Ghostbusters 2 refit. The clippered valve on the pack is an R701 facing down, and the thrower has an R331 facing up. For the resistors, the long one is a Dale RH50, which is exclusive to this pack, and the short one is the Pacific MW25, which is the same as the Vinkman, Spingler, and Zedmore. This completes the hero portion of the Proton Pack Detective series. I'll be making videos on the semi-hero packs as well, but I'll take a short break before I begin those. If you would, in the comments, post which of these packs has been your favorite to take a look at. I'd be interested to know. Thanks for watching and happy building.